Welcome, this is Katie Samoa, your favorite snow farmer. Today I want to discuss something that is um, quite dear to me. I initially made a video on it, but I decided not to post. But um, a couple of people have sent it to me again, and so that's pushing me to make a whole different video. Now, yeah, it's this is the part three of the Correcting Lies episode. <laughs> and um, so let me tell you the story. Now, before I even, I even go, please subscribe to this YouTube channel so that it goes out to inform more, more people. Anyway, back to the story. So I visited a farm, which was a greenhouse farm. And at the point, I had met an Italian friend Anyway, um, shout out to Mr. Smith in Italy. And uh, so we went to this greenhouse stroke. They have the pen system as well, a farm. And we needed 300 snails. I can add the picture of the snails they brought to us. They were very small snails, I mean, so I had to sort them out. Now, at that point we were desperate, we needed snails and then we went for these snails. We got there and we realized that, um, one, the snails were harvested from the pen system or the trench or gallery system and then the second thing is that i realized that the snails had a lot of powder around them which i asked and then they told me it was because of the formulated feed they are being fed at, at that point in time i should have stopped the whole transaction but i went on with it now whilst we were counting these 300 snails i realized that because of the formulated feed they were being fed with uh, and the calcium option was egg eggshell which does not have a lot of calcium in it as compared to oyster shell and limestone. So the moment, the moment you touch some of the snails, your finger makes a hole into the shell, as I've said in some of my previous videos. Now, by the time we're done counting our snails, we realized that we had a pile of snails that were injured. Again, as I have said in some of my previous videos. And so at that point, I, I, I advised the guy over there on how to heal the snails because I asked them and then he said they were going to use the snails for for food and I said no this is business so we have to save them now on my farm one time we had an injury and which um, informed me of how to resolve it and I don't know um, where I got the, the wisdom from maybe the Holy Spirit <laughs> but so on this farm we have ant hills so I got a piece of the ant hill mixed it with water like a clay and then we covered the the opening of that injured snail now when a, when a snail gets injured, one, if, if that opening is not closed, the snail is going to dry up. Two, it is exposed to more um, um, infections or parasites. So you realize that ants will be interested in coming to finish up the snail. So the snail needs to quickly have something to cover that opening. Even though uh, naturally God created him in such a way, just like human beings, if you have a cut, you have platelets, trying to seal up their place in the same way they have some um, um, thing trying to cover that place but we need to help it because if, if, the, if the wound is, is very serious it will die so what we do is that we need to cover the place quickly so that it is not exposed to infection it is not ex exposed to dryness to dry up the slime and you know snails hate that so we quickly use that to cover up that space that clay we mold it and cover that opening now, we do not mold it heavy to the extent that um, the snail cannot move or that thing becomes a, 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 a luggage for it to carry. And then the snail is able to move about. We separate that snail into a pen that we have identified as a clinic. Now, we change the feeding of that, of that snail over a period. Usually when snails get injured, because they do not want to move around to infect themselves, uh, with parasites and all of that or expose themselves to parasites they would even stop eating for a period and see whether one um, they always have calcium stored up in them so that calcium will try to heal that part that has been cracked or they're able to gather calcium from the other other shells other other sides of the shell and so you realize that the shell will become thin in order to spread across to seal up that place so we do not want that to happen so then we change the feed of the snail and infuse more calcium so we can do calcium maybe three times a week um, give it preferential treatment with more feed that have um, calcium and iron and all of that 
so that the snow can easily heal. Now this gentleman, we told this, and then Mr. Smith in Italy is my witness. He was right there, and then he saw the gentleman bring the clay and try to heal it right in front of us. And as we were even leaving the farm, we were discussing it in the car. You see, we all learned from each other. But what, what I was unhappy about was um, I went on the internet and I realized that the guy was on the internet and then he's mixing a couple of things and making it look very, uh, we have a word that we say, humundious, making mm -hmm. it look scary. So that people, you know when you go to the fetish priest or the witch doctors, they have things there that will scare you, that makes them look mighty. I mean, I feel that's what he was doing, which is unnecessary. But today I'm exposing what we actually do to heal injured snails. And again, in a greenhouse, you can't find this. It's only in the train system that you find injured snails and try to heal them and separate them. You know, just, just, just by the way. But I saw him on the on YouTube saying that um, it is his thing he came out with, came up with, and he's spreading it free of charge. So he mixes it with ashes and then mixes it with, with oyster shell uh, powder. Look, let me tell you. At that time when the snail is healing, it is not really absorbing any oyster shell powder or any ashes. So please, all that is all gimmicks. It's all things to look scary and smart. Look, just get calcium, sorry, just get um, the clay, seal that opening so that it cannot dry up and the snail is fine. Separate it, if the wound is not so terrible, separate it, it will heal over a period just infuse more calcium so this is what i wanted to um explain to you and so that the lies about add ashes and all of that is not true don't mind them i believe that you have learned something and then you don't allow people to scare you anymore um, i just think that that gentleman should have at least given me credit in that video um saying that oh a gentleman came to my farm this happened and then he taught me how to do this uh, but the way he went about it, I wasn't really uh, excited about it. I mean, if somebody teaches me something, I'll just give the person the credit. You know, anyway, so thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get very interesting um, tidbits like this in, in snow farming that you, it will be hard for you to get in the classroom or even in books. Um, thank you for watching this video. God bless you. Bye.